Hi, this is Rob Leo, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at Jamboard and how teachers can use it to make a copy for every student via Google Classroom. I'm here at jamboard.google.com, but just so you know, if you're in Google Drive, if you go to the new button, more, you should see that Jamboard is integrated into our Google Workspace. So you can get to it in a couple different ways. I simply go to jamboard.google.com. Once you're here, down at the bottom, there's a plus sign. You want to create a new jam. Just like other Google products, the title is in the top corner, and by default, it's untitled. You simply have to put a title in that space. You also want to notice that there are uh, multiple slides you can use to, um, to include in your jam. Basic tools, you have some backgrounds. So if you needed to use some dots or some lines or some graph paper, you could certainly include those as backgrounds. And then with the basic tools, there's a pen tool. You can change the colors. They have a pen, marker, highlighter, and brush. So with the pen, if I wanted to simply draw, I could just draw on the screen. You have an eraser tool, which will allow you to erase. And if you wanted to clear the frame, you can just press a button to clear all annotations at once. There's a selector tool. There's a sticky note. change the color of those sticky notes. There's also an image tool. So if you wanted to either upload an image from your computer, search Google Images, some, uh, something from Google Drive or your photos, you can add images. You can also add shapes. They have uh, circles, squares, triangles, etc. They have text boxes and they have a laser pointer. Um, that's all well and good. If you're all done with your jam, you can download it. You can save a frame as an image. You can make a copy of stuff. Again, a lot of this stuff works in the same way you would expect any Google Doc to work. And the share button is uh, also holds true for that. Here's where the magic is though. Back in Google Classroom, when you're on classwork, you can create an assignment. And then you can add from Google Drive. And Jamboard is one of those options. Once you attach a jam, you will have the option to either allow students to view it, allow students to edit it, or make a copy for each student. So by making a copy for each student, you're basically giving each student an opportunity to demonstrate learning. And you, of course, you could assign this. I wanna take a look at some ways teachers are currently using this. Before I showed you Own By Me, this is Owned By Anyone. And just wanna give you an example. Um, here's a case where the teacher has shared some math problems with their students. We have 10 different frames here. If you want to expand the frame bar, you can see them at the top. Looks like the student has used one, two, three, four of those frames. Um, but this uh, gives a student an opportunity to fill in the blanks. So it looks like the teacher has either used an image, this looks like an image, and then the student has used the pen tool to draw in the blank space the correct answer. The teacher has given feedback because the teacher is a collaborator on this file. She, she assigned it via Google Classroom, so she's always a collaborator. She's able to add uh, a different font color for her feedback. And if you go to the next slide, and you can see the same thing, it is a challenge to draw with a mouse, but our students do have touch screens, so perhaps it might be easier to uh, use the touch screen when you're going to use the pen tool. We have skip counting by fives. What's the fifth person say? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Looks like 25 is the correct answer. And again, the teacher has given feedback. Let's go back to another example. I want to use one where the teacher has shared uh, more of an image. And you can see that here in this example. Again, from a third grade classroom, you can see this is 12 frames long. The teacher has used the sticky note to add directions. She's inserted an image. So we're gonna fill in the number and rows and count in the columns. Then you're gonna circle A, B, or C. And you can see the student has done the work. You can see three rows and four columns. One last step for the student is just to circle three by four. Again, same concept, the teacher made a blue background. She added another image. She used a sticky note for directions and she used text. Actually, this looks like an image as well, but she used that, she used that, oh, actually this is just text. 
So she used that space to create blank spaces for the students to share their answers. When the students are done, they can close the jam and return to Google Classroom to turn in their work. One last look here at another example, because I saw something pretty innovative. It looks like the students also have the opportunity to insert images. So I wanted to point out one of these where it looks like the student has basically done the work on a piece of paper and then taken an image of that file. This is like a fifth grader. So the teacher has prepared um, a question and then the student has used a piece of paper and held it up to the camera. So if the student uses the add image option, they can uh, upload a picture from their device. And that would be one way to add uh, a picture like the student has demonstrated here. Of course, the student could have just done the work right on the whiteboard itself, but I thought that was a pretty innovative thing for the student to show um, just another approach to using Jamboard. Once again, Jamboard, basic whiteboard, really basic tools, but the teachers can set up um, experiences for the students to demonstrate learning. And did you know the teacher can attach it to Google Classroom and make a copy for each student so they each have their own workspace and the teacher can assess their work. Thanks for listening, and I hope you found this useful.